guys thank you for stopping by to watch this makeup tutorial today i'm going to create this look had lots of fun doing it if you want to see how i did it step by step then let's jump right into today it. i wanted to share some products that i just picked up yesterday so i'm excited to use them this is the nyx liquid eyeliner it is waterproof it's supposed to glide pretty good on your eyes and yeah it's not gonna be my first time using it let's see how that turns out i normally use the Kat Von D and I really like that one, but I wanted to try something different. So we'll give that a try today. I'm also gonna use this one, the Too Faced Matte Bronzer. This one is in the color Dark Chocolate. I haven't used it before. Hopefully it's not too dark for me, but gonna see if I can blend it out pretty good. Now, these other products are part of a collection with Makeup Revolution. Isn't this so cute with the Lion King? I ended up getting two of their eyeshadow palettes and one of the highlighters and two lip glosses. Let's see what the palettes look on the inside. I'm going to use this one today. Her name is I Walk on the Dark Side. Here are the colors. Beautiful. It has pink, orange, corals, a little yellow there, like a mustard color. So I'm going to use that one today. I'm excited. Here's the other one. It has scar in the front. And these are the colors on the inside. It has blue, a little bit of the brown colors in there. So yeah, that one's nice as well. And this is the highlighter that I picked up. This one's called Heart of a Lioness. And this is the highlighter. I'm gonna try this today. Here are the two lip glosses that I got from them. I'm gonna try them out today. Probably this one. Not sure if I'm gonna do this one or not, but we'll see. All right, well, let's get started. First thing we're gonna moisturize our face. I'm gonna use the Drunk Elephant. This is a Marula oil. Just apply a few drops. And this is gonna soak in while you do your makeup. Rub it in real good. A little bit on the forehead. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and also put some lip balm. This one is also from Drunk Elephant. And I'm gonna start with the eyes, the upper eyelid, the eyeshadow. To prime my eyes and get them ready for the eyeshadow, today I'm gonna use e.l.f. in the color Light Sand. I like to put a few um, little dots on my eyes and then with a damp beauty blender just blend it in make sure it's blended in very well no creases I like to prime my eyes because it helps with the eyeshadow so that you can see the colors very well. Also because I do have hooded eyes so there's going to be a lot of creasing if I don't set them and my color can move around and after all that work um, you really don't want that to happen. Especially your eyes. It's usually what takes me the longest to do. So once that is blended in real good, we're gonna set it with some loose powder. I always use the same, Laura Mercier. Put some of that powder in on there. I think I'm gonna have to clip my hair out of the way. It keeps getting in the way. Once I'm doing the eyeshadow, I don't wanna keep having to touch my hair. There we go. Probably looks silly, but it's gonna help. So like I said, we're gonna try this little eyeshadow palette here. And I'm gonna go in with my crease gonna use a blender brush 
And today I'm gonna use this one by Arty Cosmetics. And I'm gonna start with the pink color. It's called the Jungle. This one right here. And just put a little bit of that product and start putting it on. The cute thing about this is that it has a little mirror so you can use your little mirror too, if you like. I always start right here on the outside of my of my eyelid, like so. Like that. I do notice that it has a lot of fallout, but that's okay because that's the reason why I do my foundation in the end. Um, you can just wipe off all that fallout. You just continue to do that on both sides. Finish this eye and do the same thing on the other side. I start on the outside, work your way in, do the windshield wiper move, go back and forth to get a good blend. You can stop and see the progress, see if you need to change anything, if you need a little bit more. This color is very light, but it's definitely noticeable and buildable. If you want that little light pink color, it'll be great. And just keep doing that until you get it to where you want it. Intensify that color. I'm gonna go into that darker pink right here. It's called the wild side And with a smaller blender brush, I'm gonna pick it up and Start putting it on the eyelid. This one is the morphe m506 And I want to use this one because I want to have a little more control about where I'm gonna put it in my eye And then I'll worry about blending it so right now it's more about just applying it to the eye like exactly where i want it you look straight ahead and start to work that in um i want this one to be more in my crease so like underneath the little pinky color I want to make sure that I can see it when I open my eye. Because if you put it all on the inside, you won't be able to see it. Especially if you have like a hooded eye, you won't be able to see it. Tap it. Like I said, right now it's more about applying it and then we're gonna blend. It has a lot of fallout for sure. It looks really pretty though. Once you get it in there, it starts to look real pretty. I'm going to go back into the bigger uh, blender brush that we used a little pink and I'll try to start working on the blending here. Just open up your eye, see what it looks like, and keep blending. I'm going to go back and forth, the smaller little one. I feel like I want to apply a little bit more on the end. Yeah. More like a V. Kind of gives you a little eye lift there at the end. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another, a little bit more of the jungle color, the pink, and then go over that. Let's see, um, go over the top. 
to help the blending. It's very windy outside today. I know you guys can hear it, sorry. Don't be afraid to bring it all the way up to so close to your eyebrow. All right, to clean the top part, I think I went a little high with the pink there. So I'm gonna try to clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna get a small little brush like this with some of the powder. The La Mercier powder and just kind of put it there. Kind of help clean it up a little bit. Like that. There you go. I'm gonna get the Morphe M167 and I'm gonna go ahead and get more of the wild side and put it, I think I'm gonna put it right here and just bring it in more, but I'm just gonna kind of tap it in. back with the RT blender brush and bring blend the top part here a little bit more kind of trying to wing it out go into the color jungle like so pick up more of the wild side right here right on the edge Tap it in. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing so on the I other side. I went ahead and started to do more of this eye off camera. I went ahead and cut the crease. To cut the crease, I used the Morphe M250-1. It's a very thin little brush like this. Um, Put a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand and just you know start to draw cut the crease i used the same concealer that i used earlier the elf the same concealer that i used to set my eyes so the way that i did it is start right here in the corner you want to look straight so that you can see if it's going to show or not when you open your eye you don't want to create that line where it's inside your crease and then it just gets lost so once you do that, you're gonna apply the rest of the e.l.f. with a thicker uh, flat brush. And I use this one. This is the Morphe M705. Get some more of that concealer and just start to pat it in there. You wanna pat it in like to fill it all in. After that, I got another little brush, just a fluffy brush and you don't have to do this but i like doing it so it kind of helps with the creasing and i pat a little bit of the laura mercier powder on there now it's ready for the color so i'm gonna go and use the color it's called circle of life the little yellow one here use a flat brush again with morphe m the M224 brush. And let's put some of that color in there and start to apply it right on top of where you have the concealer. Just pat it in. Right here in the end, I don't want it to have like a harsh edge. So I'm just gonna kind of pat it and blend. Okay, well, let's get started with the face. And before um, we prime it, 
You can use a little moisturizer or some, some oil. I use this one, the same one that I used earlier, Drunk Elephant. So my face is nice and moisturized to receive, you know, some of that product. You don't want to put too much product in your face and then it just gets really dry. So try to have it nice and moisturized. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the primer. I'm going to use this one from Too Faced The Hangover. I use it all the time. Love it. All it takes is three little pumps in your hand and start to work that in your face or on your nose, your forehead. I keep looking that way because I have my mirror there. And when I'm not holding the mirror in my hand, it's you know easier to look that way. So you're gonna start to feel it sticky and when it feels like that, it means it's ready to apply your makeup. Color corrector for me is the IT Cosmetics. And this one has SPF 50 in the color Natural Tan. Just put a few pumps under your eyes. Anywhere in your face that you have any blemishes that you wanna cover. I like to put some on my, on my nose because I do have some redness there that I like to cover. And with your Beauty Blender, just start to work it in. Sometimes just this is enough, like on a regular day, if I'm running errands or anything, um, I can just put some of this on to kind of even out the tone of my face. And you don't need to do the whole thing with, you know, concealer and, and um, foundation or anything. You can actually just use this one. It protects you from the sun and it gives you pretty good coverage. And it feels lightweight so sometimes you know i just go with that okay work it in real good the more you work in these products on your face the more like better it's gonna look I put it everywhere <laughs> okay now let's go into our foundation my foundation is the estee lauder double wear foundation Use the same one all the time. I kind of tend to find one that I really like and then I just keep using the same one until I get tired of it. But I need to try different ones. I'll try some of different ones for you guys. And I like to put it in a little brush to apply it to my face. This is a Morphe 707. And really, I just use this to apply it onto my face. You don't need that much. Just a little bit. And start to put it on there. I only use it to apply it. I like to work it in with my beauty blender. You can bring a little bit down on your neck. There you go. Now that I have some on here, I'm gonna go ahead and use a beauty blender to really work it in good. I didn't apply it on my under eyes because I'm gonna use the concealer there and I don't wanna to have too much product in that area. I don't want it to dry up and start to crease. I'm so ready for summertime already. Tired of the cold. I know the kids are ready for summer. We don't really have any plans yet, but I'm pretty sure something will come up. Are you guys ready for summer? I know some people really love winter and fall. I like fall also, but I'm just really ready for the summertime. Just work it in real good. The more you work it in, the better. Just take your time. Yeah, I think we're done. So I'm gonna go into the concealer. The concealer that I like to use is the Tarte Shape Tape, the ultra creamy one. I don't like to use the real dry one. I like to use this little creamy this one. This is a 22N. Like that. 
like to do a little line on my nose like this a little bit on the forehead and also the chin to brighten it up Okay, so once you're done with working that concealer in with your beauty blender, we're gonna set it with some translucent powder. I use the same one, Laura Mercier. Just get a fluffy brush. And I like to lightly just put some under like that. Put a little bit of my nose, just right here on my forehead. So your concealer doesn't move and it stays set all day. Okay, so now to contour the face, I'm gonna go into the Chubby Stick by Milk. This one is in the color Blaze. And I like to use this one underneath my chin area like this. Just do two lines like that in the bottom now for the rest of my face I'm gonna use this one by Tom Ford and this one is in the second intensity too but it's pretty dark and you can just use a little chubby like pencil stick I like to put some on there and then put it on my nose area draw two lines coming down I know it looks pretty dark and crazy, but once it's blended in, it looks good. So I'm really trying, you know, to get the hang of recording myself while I'm doing my makeup. I've been doing my makeup for a little while. I would say maybe like three years that I started really playing with makeup. Um, before that, I just always did the same the same look, literally the same colors, the same everything. I only had one little palette and I would just do the exact same look every single time. Uh, I really didn't care too much about makeup, but I just started to, you know, have fun with it. I feel like it's an art and you can learn and just, you know, see what you can come up with. I think it's fun. Now, where's my beauty blender? Here it is. <laughs> okay, well, let me go ahead and blend in this nose. Alright, I'm gonna get the same little pan, Tom Ford, and I'm gonna get my beauty blender and I'm literally just gonna put it into the pan like this. Pick it up this way. This is how like I like to do it. I know a lot of people apply it directly like with the brush or something on their face, but I like to do it with my beauty blender. And I like to start right here, right where my hairline is, and start to make that line. Going down like that. Get a little bit more product and do the other side. I know that I like the um, eyeshadow looks a little crazy right now, but really this is this is one of the looks that is not gonna really look right until the end when it all comes together. Put some on the forehead. Just push it up to your hairline. Like that. And now let's try to blend this a little bit. That way it's nice and blended. Start doing the chin. I like to push it down. Down, and you can do it to the side as well. Push the product down. 
I don't know an explanation, but these are all of our cream products. We're gonna go in with some powder, so trust me, um, you want it to be a little, like, you know, moisturized right now. It's okay. Okay, so I think I'm done with that. Now, before we go into the powdered, um, products i want to go ahead and set the face a little bit with the translucent powder and for that just get a big like a big uh fluffy face brush dip it into your translucent powder and then just go over the face to like help set it a little bit and it'll also help um once you go in with your powder products for them to go on a little bit more smoothly. It helps it. Those cream products. Down. I'm gonna put some in between my nose right here with the smaller brush. So now we're gonna go into the bronzer and like I mentioned earlier, today I'm going to use this Too Faced one. The color was dark chocolate. I've never used it before. Hopefully it's not too dark. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my look. <laughs> Let's see, I'm having trouble opening it. There you go. This is what it looks like on the inside. And I'm gonna get my favorite brush for this. This is the Morphe. M527. Let's put some in there. It says dark chocolate, but it really doesn't look that dark on the pan. Let's see what it looks like on my face. Okay. Okay. I don't really see that it looks too dark. I'm really liking it. My makeup always gets on my hair, <laughs> but I end up having to take it off with that little makeup wipe at the end. All right, I really like it. I like to have a heavy cheek, so um, I do like darker colors on my cheeks. I don't really mind it. this on my little chin it smells really good it smells like chocolate yeah <laughs> I don't know I think the face is like my favorite part to do <laughs> I can go a little heavy on it but I'll clean it up Okay, so I'm gonna go with just like a clean big brush, angled brush like this, and it doesn't have anything on there. And I like to keep trying to blend it a little bit more. All right, and now we're gonna go into our blush. Okay, I'm gonna use this one from NARS. The color is called Outlaw. And get a little angle brush like this. This one's from Morphe. It came in a in a set, so it doesn't really have a number. But you can find, you know, just an angle brush like this anywhere. Put some of that product in there. Let's start to put it on your cheeks. Not everybody likes blush, but I really like the look of it. You know, like you know, wakes you up a little bit, like a youthful look. I know, I'm going heavy. 
Gue bilang kayak Gara-gara merah my forehead Nah Alright, I better put that down now Put it down, girl That's right <laughs> Now I have to go back Into my big one here Okay, I'm gonna get my beauty blender and I'm literally gonna press it in. It just helps blend it in as well. So, really pressing that into the face. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the cheeks, get a dry beauty blender. I'm gonna use this one, I like the little like line right here the edge so it's gonna help me cut my cheeks that way And you can put, with the um, pointy part, you can put some of the, some of this powder, like on your smile lines or anywhere, anywhere that you want to set. Like that. Too high right there. And I'm going to put some more of this, the Too Faced bronzer. And I'm gonna put a little bit more on my nose because we used the cream um, contour, but I'm gonna bronze it with this. So I'm gonna put a little bit on a little chubby pencil stick and start to apply some on my nose using the same technique that I used earlier. I'm just gonna put two lines coming down. These two lines, the closer they are together, the more, basically, the skinnier it's gonna make your face look. Well, your nose, not your face. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on my, um, right here, underneath my lip. Make it look a little bit bigger. And now I'm gonna blend it in. to clean that up on your nose on my nose i'm going to use the morphe this little angle brush right here morphe m164 as you can see i love morphe brushes i have so many brushes but most of them are morphe <laughs> the ones that i use like all the time are morphe so i'm going to get this little brush right here with the uh, powder going to the side like that I'm gonna clean off the cheeks. Just dust it off. Guys, so I took off the powder on my cheeks. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and dust off the nose area. And we're gonna start to continue with our eyes. The next thing I'm going to do here is, remember we're going to try this NYX uh, waterproof liquid eyeliner. 
It's a little nervous. I have never used this one before. I always use my Kat Von D, but I want to try something different. So wish me luck. I hope I really love it so I can use something different. Oh my goodness. Scary. <laughs> it has like a brush tip. I haven't used one of these in a long time. Okay, so I'm gonna get this and take as much off of it as possible before I start to do my eyeliner. Okay, the way that I like to do my eyeliner is just face forward like that. I like to start at the edge here and then draw a line going up. do the other side now it has a lot of powder it picks up a lot of powder with this little brush try to take some off and let's do the other side same thing look forward start at the end and then just move it out From that area there, from the outside, I'm gonna bring it in. Like that. Do the other side. So from the outside, bring it in. Inside of my the corner of my eye and start to do my line here. Okay, get some more products and do the other eye. I always like to do the outline first and then I fill it in. Needs more. I'm scared to put too much on there. Okay. I always see how like sometimes some people do it really fast. I just can't, I can't do it that fast. I have to take my time. And I really can't talk too much while I'm doing this. Especially this is a new one. Oh my God, you guys, look. It's transferring. That's not good. It means I can't look up while I'm doing it. Let's see how I can fix that. Not good, not good, not good. That's why I stick to the same one that I always do. That one came out like super thick. Let 
look at that. No. So basically, you have to apply it and let it dry because it will transfer before it dries. If you have hooded eyes like me, that's not a good thing. It looks crazy. Okay, let me see if I can fix it. Okay, so I was able to fix that eyeliner on that I had messed up on this side as much as possible. Um, that was with the NYX liquid eyeliner. I think it glides on very smoothly. The only part that I didn't like is that um, it's very like liquidy and it transfers, so it has to dry um, or it will transfer. If you have eyes like me, um, I have hooded eyes, so whenever I open my eyes, you know, like some parts of your skin will touch uh, the upper part and that's how it just like transferred. I think I'm gonna stick to my regular Kat Von D liner. I love this one, been using it forever. And uh, for now, it's just gonna be my favorite until I find another one. Now let's go ahead and work on our bottom eyelid. Back to this eyeshadow here. Get a little pencil brush like this one. I think I'm gonna do the pink on the outside. Work it from the outside of your eye in. And go back and forth, smoke it out a little bit. Do the same thing on your other side. From the outside, work it in. So it started to rain. It was windy earlier and now it's raining. Okay. I'm gonna go into the yellow color that we used earlier. It's, it was a color circle of life. You wanna get another little pencil brush. That little pencil brush and pick up some of that color. And I'm gonna use it from the inner corner to the middle. Do the same thing on the other eye. Okay. And now for the waterline today, I want to use. this little pencil liner by ColourPop. I really like the white on the waterline and it opens up your eyes. So I just think with these colors, it's gonna look nice. It goes on very smoothly. And now the next thing is to put some mascara on. I'm gonna use my favorite mascara from Benefit and this is Bad Gal Bang. Do my top lashes. I'm gonna apply 
name is Kara. All right, well, I'm gonna pop some lashes on, do my bottom lash line, and then I'll be back to finish up the look. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and popped on those top lashes. And before I continue to put mascara on the bottom lash line, I wanna put a little bit more of that eyeshadow, the pink one on the outer corner here. And before I do that, just wanted to mention that the lashes that I used are from Beauty Creations in the style Restricted. Okay, so just get your pencil brush that you used earlier. Go back into that pink color, which is called the wall side. And add a little bit more. So now that I added the eyelashes, I feel like I definitely just needed a little bit more color on the under eyelid. Just add a little bit more like that and smoke it out. Just a little bit. Now I'm gonna put some mascara on. I think it stopped raining. It was raining pretty hard earlier. Okay, I'm almost done with the eyes. Almost done, almost there, guys. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is, before we put on our highlighter, put some of the setting spray from Morphe. Cover up the eyes. Stay a little. While that's setting in, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my lipstick. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do this color by Too Faced, and this one is in the color my type. It's a little more nude. I know I tried one before, and um, it had a more pinky tone, so I think this one's a little more nude. Yeah. Pretty more nude. I really like this color so much. I could use this every day. And I'm going to outline it with this little lip liner. This one is by Makeup, Makeup Forever. And it's in the color 600 Anywhere Caffeine. Right. Once you get it the way you like it, um, you can put some lip gloss or you can just leave it like this. Like I said today, I wanted to try this lip gloss. I ended up getting these two, but I'm going to do this one today. Okay, let's see how this lip gloss looks. Feels good so far. Hey, I really like it. Very shiny. It feels good. Our highlighter. This little guy right here. Get your highlighter brush. I like to use this little fan brush. Put some on there. And start to apply it on your cheeks. On your high cheekbone. 
I like it. Looks really pretty. This side. Okay, whatever's left, you can put a little bit on your forehead. Now get a little brush and we're gonna do our nose. Put some highlighter on our nose. But I just got this one. This one's from, it came with the palette, the Naked palette and it just came in there. But I always like to use like this type of little brush to do the nose highlight. I'm gonna use the small end here. Just gonna apply a little bit on the tip. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one for my uh, inner corner of my eye as well. Just tap it in there. A little pink tone. I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, it looks like we're almost done. Now I'm going to um, kind of push everything in with my beauty blender. Since I already put in, put on the setting powder and it dried, so I'm gonna push everything in. Okay, and I'm gonna go and put a little bit of the translucent powder on any spots that I feel are too shiny for me just to kind of um you know set them and dry them up a little bit for example right here I always get a little shiny here I don't like it so I'm gonna put a little bit of that powder in there on the chin just very lightly Yeah, and I think that's the final look. Let me know what you guys think. I had fun doing it. Um, yeah, I think that's it for today. That's all we're gonna do to the face. That was fun. All right, you guys. Well, this is the final look of the day. I really like the way that this turned out. The colors to me looked, you know, pretty good. Um, lots of fun playing with this palette. It had some fallout, but it's nothing that you can't work with. The eyeliner, I'm definitely going to stick with the Kat Von D for now until I can find another one that I like the same. But everything was fun. Love the color. Anybody that knows me knows I love playing with color. Maybe next time I'll bring a different look that's a little more wearable. But, you know, it was fun. So for now, I'm going to call it a night, take some pictures of the look, hang out with my kids, watch some movies. Hope everybody has a great and blessed day and I will see you next time. Bye.